真的很有意思。我就这样的说，买的挺高的。那其实不是 OK 的啊。OK。Hello everybody. So this is Grace Gao from the factory Zhongfa Woodworks Company Limited. Uh, now I am doing a live stream presentation for about 15 to 20 minutes, and I have sent out the invitation to quite a few potential clients and the existing clients. So we uh, are the source factory, so we are the manufacturer here in China. And now I am standing in the corner of the company central room and the conference room doing a presentation for you. So I hope you share enjoy my tour for you uh, to know more about uh, our company, Zhongfa Woodworks, short for ZF Woodworks. Okay, so our factory actually started in the year 2005 at a Woodworks studio as a lab, lab, as a lab. and then at the first expansion it was incorporated as a company in the year 2008. So when it comes to the production of woods, in the beginning the factory was producing mainly sofa legs, uh, furniture, components, such type of uh, for the trading company and for other bigger manufacturer here in China. But uh, since the incorporation in 2008, then the company has been intaking foreign orders from overseas. Uh, then we have evolved from a basic manufacturer of wooden clocks to a lot of more varieties, including wood box, which are in front of me, and also wood, wooden clocks to a lot of the wooden needs, as you can see around me. Here are the wood needs for scent candles mainly, and this layer is not only wood needs for scent candles and fragrance, but as also you can see from over there, there are some of the wooden tops for diffuser caps, uh, which are used for diffusing uh, fragments in, to make the room smell nice. And, uh, Simultaneously, we also make a lot of the wooden tops, wooden caps, wooden cover for perfume bottles. That is also the similar uh, item as the wooden cap for diffuser, right? But it's only that for perfumes, it means tight thinning. So most likely there is an inner cap within, which is made of plastic. And so quite a few cast clients are discussing with me these days about the perfume bottle wooden caps. Yes, we have been very good at it. As you can see from, uh, from these samples, uh, like this one, that is made for diffuser cap, that is made of rubber wood, and for our major client, Ulrix rubber wood. And the, the metal wing is here, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, it is like a scarf putting into the neck of such a diffuser bottles. And this is a completely cylinder shape. This has a little bit of the of this, uh, slope here. So those are the wooden caps for diffusers. We make more of such wooden caps than perfume bottles, but of course we make a lot of perfume bottles as well. But, uh, Totally speaking, as for wood needs, that is actually our specialties. We make about two to three mini wood needs every month. So for container wise, that is about seven to eight huge containers. So you can imagine a room at about 30 or 40 square meters full of loaded wood wood needs. That is, and we can make seven or eight rooms of such needs. So that is our capacity every month. With the increased capacity there, at the premise in Vietnam, we are actually able to intake more orders. And then that is why I have been very actively uh, reaching out for more clients and writing more mails, bombarding more mail lists for such potentials. Because the Vietnam uh, factory has already been opened and uh, is now during inspection and it shall be put in use very soon. Hopefully, within about three or four months, but it can be shorter because a lot of our pinner staff, pinner workers, pinner engineers, pinner export sales have already been sent there. Actually, 
some of them have already been stationed there for about four months. As I told my client, Mitch, there in America, I was not ready. I was very honest. The Mr. Law has been sent there much earlier last year, and lately we have been sending quite a few others. They have just passed the phase of the quarantine and has started to embark uh, in the starting of the Vietnam factory. So, regarding the Cantonese and the wood diffuser caps, these are that. And uh, uh, behind me, actually, are some of the names for the mugs as well as for the butter dish, as you can see. And uh, we make a lot of the wooden calendars as well over there. And uh, for the baby milestone, cubic, uh, uh, cubic, cubic wooden cloths, wooden pieces, that is a component part of that type of calendar. That's uh, what we can make too. And for the butter jar dish, the underneath, we are super good at because the draft of silicone, as you can see, it's like a scarf, but it is totally put here. I, I mean, when it comes to the to such type of, food, for example, to candle beads, then the thing, the gasket, the gasket is uh, half embedded in the group of such beads. But when it comes to the need to the silicone wrapping for the butter jar dish, it's over wrapping the inner part. That makes it kind of thingy. So I really think it's a very good piece. And plus, when it comes to this butter jar, as you can see, when it's put on here, the snow of the container uh, is uh, extending like this way. But when it comes to the wooden it, it's an extension of such a stone, like the opposite, the reverse to <laughs> pyramid type. And so the tight thinning and also the consist of snow, it's very perfect. So I would really recommend my Danish client place such type of rubber, butter, jar issue needs to us to drop that instead of some other factory. And uh, for wood cantonese, actually, most of it is made of uh, medium densified fiber wood, or say MDF wood. And that is our specialty, especially this year. And uh, we have the technique to make it in various structure as well as uh, various uh, material. So as you can see from my right hand side, that is an MDF wood lint and with a hole drilled in between. So when it comes to the seaming of the candle after you want to blow it off, the type of this leather stream makes you easy, easier to fetch the wood lint while the carbon oxygen from inside the bottle is easier to be vaporized or say exhale out through the nether uh, beam hole as well. So that is a very good and innovative and very popular item which I have been. Uh, and as for other type of MDF wood need, uh, one of the major reasons we recommend it to the clients is also because of the veneer technique in this company. We have different type of veneers, so that make, that can make sure uh, wrapping like in another type of skin. So we can be black, we can be brown, we can be white, depending on this type of veneer. So most likely American clients prefer this type of dark brown, a little bit of tan feeling of this veneer, which we are very good at. And uh, the MDF makes the wood need very economical, while the veneer still makes it looks good and appeals good as the uh, you know the feeling and the outcome, you know. So MDF would need which I recommend if you don't want to pay that much but you want to receive very good needs, uh, sonic wood, MDF is the uh, most uh, recommended item nowadays. But uh, if you really don't like this the type of 
rough feeling of the MDF with the needle. Then there is the other type as the femoral with the needle, which I think is also very good because the, the grain of a bamboo is very straight, it's always straight, and so it makes it makes the um, makes it more elegant and it feels good as for the touching as well. And for MDF, for compared to MDF with the needle, the sophisticated bamboo needle is very economical as well. It's a little bit more expensive than MDF, but it's still very affordable for you, right? And we can make it in different type of thickness as for clients' uh, preference. Sometimes it can be as thin as about nine millimeter, and some most most, most clients choose twelve or fifteen uh, millimeter as the thickness. But uh, what we recommend uh, is uh, we can only recommend the thickness according to your budget. Very honest speaking. And uh, Fabio, I don't know if you are in front of the camera, if you are watching. I actually do this session of the live streaming mostly because uh, there is you uh, uh, that is most likely to be my audience for the moment, uh, who I'm talking to, but my Spanish friend uh, Fabio Omar. And so this actually is a backup with the needle uh, without uh, printing the model. I know I have sent four pieces of the needle with the model uh, of the or something like that, a cow, a buffalo, or a cow mm. uh, printed on this one. But it also can be each or say, laser engraved on top of the bamboo unit. And this is actually a replacement, which I was going to send to you, Fabio, in Spain, but then I missed the chance. Uh, so that is exactly 12 centimeters thick and if, it's, if this one is put on the mug, so this layer is inside the mug wire, while the weight comes to the outer side, on top of the ingredient jar, there's still a certain thickness, I think it's about uh, 7, 8 or something like that, yeah. So for the ingredient jar, we make the whole space for uh, spoons, for the ingredient spoons. So, you can see, Take a closer look, it looks very good. Uh, I think my manager is in front of the uh, camera as well. Greetings from Grace, and my manager is now uh, uh, doing a very good job. She has saved us a lot of the materials uh, for this uh, exhibition. I'm sorry, I have my phone here. Wait。嗯，麻烦问一下你推销什么呢？你再不用了，不用不用不用再给我打，我已经告诉你，这个多宝因为我们现在有阿里巴巴，然后有那个什么什么开通飞儿，而且我现在正在做那个开通飞儿
Then we can switch the camera to the other side to make the broadcast to your interest, make it on your terms, uh, customized, per se. Uh. So behind me, or say in the corner of where I am standing, are the wood leaves for scent candles, wood caps for diffusers, and uh, wood leaves for mugs, for butter garnish, calendars, and pen holders uh, on that side, and also mm, phone, ho phone holders as well. And uh, actually, over there on that side, on the bottom, are some bamboo chopsticks, but the bamboo chopboards, <laughs> and the middle layer are some more, even more nicely crafted bamboo chopboards, and uh, on top are some of the you know, the screw of wood caps for jars and uh, for the silicon nuts, as well as the twist on and twist off, you know, that type of wood needs for uh, cosmetic jar. And uh, I know that my German client is discussing that type of cosmetic jar of meat with me, and then I have already made through the measurement and sent you the information. So, hope to receive your sample very soon. And on the left side of this room are the samples from the, uh, from the production we, which we supply to a major trade company here in China, a glass factory. So if there are any foreign glass factory overseas that are looking for the wood lead supplier, we are exactly there to call. And uh, behind the camera are a lot of the wooden frames, wooden picture frame, wooden photo frame and the wooden cloths, uh, wooden base for lighting for the lamps, or the wooden base for diffuser, aroma diffuser machine, you know, the electronic diffuser machine. And uh, they have a lot of wooden box as well. Uh, so, and on this right side is the projector, uh, and another shelf like this, showing our key accounts uh, Candles as well as the jars, of course, equipped with our ZF Woodworks wood leads. Uh, we don't mind to reveal the name, it's actually Yankee Candle Woodworks. We sell quite large volume. I think about 80 or maybe 90 percent of our output for wood leads are actually for them. So, if you remember just now what I mentioned, the total quantity of the output. Is about two to three million wood needs every month. Imagine about 90% of such type of amount is exported to Yankee Candle and Woodwicks. That is actually quite amazing, right? That's why we say we have a scale economy and we are very economical when it comes to the design and the, to the price of the wood needs. So, no matter whether you are a large client or small, a small client, we are exactly the factory specialized in uh, wood candle needs to help you and to assist you all, all along the way. Okay? Uh, I think it's time to disclose and then to uh, cut off today's presentation. But then if there's any need, uh, like the catalog or the specific item or your own request, uh, you're welcome to send me an email. It's, uh, Grace now, Grace, yeah. The Grace of God now at the ZF Uruks. Or simply ZF Uruks at gmail or at outlook.com. Uh, so that's all for the day. It's already 25 minutes. And then uh, I think so far so good. I will try to do another 20 minutes presentation if there's any specific requests. And then I can switch the camera to the side on the products that you want to see, okay? Or I can get you the catalog and the product to show you closer, uh, closer to the camera and then to show you all the details. For example, if uh, I only describe the comparison between a wood need like this and that, you probably don't understand. For the anti dust need, for example, there is no silicone gasket. It's just a put on top of the uh, ingredient jar or the mug jar, but it's very functional. And then for the tight sealing, it means actually there's always silicone gasket in the putting embedded in the glue 
that ensures the tight seaming on top of the jar or the mug or the container, right? So that's the difference between products. And when it comes to be, to be in front of the camera, then it's actually easier to show, and you can easy you can get explanation and uh, get it clarified much easier as well, right? Uh, so we talk another time. And if you want anything specific, please do drop us an email or call us anytime. Okay. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys a little bit later. Uh.